Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. It's uh, April 23rd. Um, I just wanted to show a project that I'm working on. I mentioned this low pressure aeroponic system that I'm building. It's like the third version of it, but it's going to be a modular design where it can do multiple buckets. So each will have a six inch net pot lid, bucket lid. And I'm probably going to change this to three sprayers instead of two, but this will be the terminal bucket. The um, in-between buckets will have a T on each side that'll connect the two, so then another one can connect out the end of it. Since this is the terminal one, it just has a one T and the tubing wraps around, and I've got the little spray nozzles kind of just pushed in there. And then I've got a return line or place, you know, connected for a return line there and kind of give you an idea how this is going to work. Sorry for the mess. Um, so basically we'll have a reservoir coming in here from like a 32 gallon trash can. And I connect to a float valve and this is an adjustable arm so I can set it to whatever. So um, whatever depth I want it'll stop the flow. So I've got this, um, it's like a 900 and, I think it's like a 920 gallon per hour pump. So I got a float valve coming in, controlling the flow. This is going to pump up to the lid. I'll have a hole cut out for the power line. And this will go out to a um, bucket going in to here. Spray. The roots and then return back to the bottom. So it's basically a recirculating system using several containers. Uh, the controller uh, bucket that controls the nutrient depth but also houses the pump. So I have a reservoir controller bucket with the pump and float valve and then multiple um, growing containers. And I've still got a, I'm just kind of working it out as I go along. And I've got some ideas from other, other people. I didn't come up with this all on my own, but it's kind of like, uh, I've got the ideas from different places I've kind of pitched together. And Matt Garver has some ideas. And there's another guy, I can't remember his name. I'll, I'll give him credit when I, I just need to look, um, look back through my conversations. But and it's kind of a, there's also a, um, another website that had a spray bucket similar to this. But this is kind of my own. DIY implementation of it. it says um, not totally original, but I think it's going to work very well. So these will spray inward. Like I said, I'll probably add one more sprayer. And these are all light proof, like a um, bucket lid, and the buckets are light proofed. I'm going to paint this lid and then do some more touch-up paint on this container. And I'll probably use a 32-gallon trash can for the um, reservoir. I may do a test run with just a five gallon bucket as a reservoir just to test, make sure everything is flowing okay. And I wanna do at least three growing containers, um, but I think this pump could probably support more than that. Should, I should be able to do five pretty easily. Uh, but it's all gonna be connected with, um, it's like a vinyl half inch pond tubing. You can get it at Lowe's. That's what I'm using to connect. So that'll all be light proof too. So I shouldn't have the algae issues and I shouldn't have to have aluminum foil over everything. Minimal painting really just on the controller bucket. Everything else. Um, they got a really good deal on these net bucket lids on Amazon. They're still going on. I'll put a link. And I got these buckets actually on Walmart online. And it's the Argy Corp. The gray store has this exact same brand, same mill thickness buckets for like, they were like $10 a piece. And Walmart online had them like with free site store shipping for, um, it was like $35 for 10, so it was like $350 a piece. So I got it, so I've got a bunch of these. And these, I got a really good deal on Amazon. I think they were like about $3, $3, a piece, even shipped. So, um, so anyway, I'll put some links in the description on where I found some of this. And it's using basic like half inch connectors. 
Um, I started out using little donut grommets and honestly I think they kind of suck. Um, Matt Garver turned me on to the top head grommets. Way easier to install. These are quarter inch but um, I did find some half inch ones too and they install real easily with a 5 8 inch drill bit and a lot simpler way easier to install with the quarter inch grommets um, the best tool is a, a 10 millimeter bit it works perfectly uh, anyway so I just uh, this it, is still very incomplete and kind of a work in progress but um, but I wanted I probably was running outside on my porch again um, but I think it'll address some of the issues with uh, light penetration and not having to fill it all the time. I'm going to have a shutoff valve. I got a bunch of these to basically um, between the reservoir and the controller bucket. So I can, um, I want to make it so that I can drain everything, like basically run it a couple weeks, turn off the reservoir, drain it, drain and flush and rinse everything, turn the reservoir back on, refill with a fresh solution so I can kind of keep, so I don't get a, a buildup of um, excess salts or whatever and I think that should keep it healthy. So anyway, I, I, this is kind of like my pre-update of this system. And I just wanted to show, kind of give you uh, kind of thinking out loud with some of this and still working on as I go along. But I just want to share, share that with you. I'll post some updates as it comes together. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like that, please like, comment, and subscribe.